Hey, 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 it's Fat Albert, back at it again with another Minecraft Let's Play video. Today on my Minecraft world, we're going to be watching a video of a middle-aged man who likes balloons. Kind of crazy, I know. I think everybody at this point likes balloons, but no, this guy takes it to new heights. He is like a balloon sex trafficker. There is, there is no way that anyone in the world can like balloons as much as this absolute unit. I'm 62 years old, and I'm addicted to balloons. Bro, you're 62, and you're you're like obsessed with balloons. What are you doing, dude? You should have like a wife and kids at this point, dude. You should be getting ready to have grandchildren. They're beautiful. They're soft, smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive. But sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. No, I don't think it is. Balloons are not alive. No matter how much love and calm you put into the balloons, they are not going to become alive, dude. You're like 60, dude. You should know that. My first reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. Oh, yeah, just a little bit weird. I don't know. Not insane. Dude, like, what? What do you mean, dude? This guy's out of his mind. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. Dude, 50 years is since like the 60s. This man's been getting freaky with balloons since the 60s. He's been getting freaky with balloons since he was 12. Dude, what the hell? It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. I think everyone likes balloons as a kid. You've taken it to another level. You've gone 50 years beyond that, and you still like balloons. Liking balloons is fine, but not the way you do. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. Bro, this is really kinky. I don't know. This is, I don't, I don't, I feel dirty watching this video. I feel like I'm intruding on something I'm not supposed to see. Like, dude, jeez. Balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. Are you being racist to non-transparent balloons right now? I feel discriminated against. I myself am a blue balloon, and I really don't appreciate this sort of talk. My favorite is the spherical ones. Why? I, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? No, dude, I, not gonna lie, I don't feel as though it's the same thing as liking blondes or brunettes, considering they're balloons. And as a long blue balloon myself, I really take a lot of offense to that, because, I don't know, dude, it's just not right to say. Julius is so addicted, he even has an entire room dedicated to balloons. This is my balloon sanctuary. Bro, I, I don't think that's a sanctuary. I think that's a sex dungeon, dude. You really gotta be... You gotta be out of your mind to consider that a sanctuary. I have uh, magenta, purple, yellow, blue, red, and clear. And uh, wherever I, I have a white one, I don't have many white ones, but I try to put the white ones in there like there's a white one over there. And then I've got some orange and yellow and green. I try to alternate it to keep all the colors, you know, uh, of the rainbow in there. At least he's not keeping them segregated. I mean, that's for the better, right? So he's doing one thing, right? For me, it's the bigger, the better. Okay. Well then. I sleep in my balloon room every night. When I wake up in the morning, it's like being in balloon heaven. Bro, they're in balloon hell, not balloon heaven. What did they do to get put in there? Jeez, I'm so sorry for those balloons. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. If I was a balloon within a 70 mile radius of this man, I would off myself. I would not want to be around him. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. There were three things in that last clip that you didn't have to share. Your stomach, your arousal for balloons, and what you were doing to that poor purple balloon. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. Okay then. It was, it costed zero dollars not to say that. 
Like you could have just you could have just gone on with your day and just not said that on live television. I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And it's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? Yeah, obviously, but she wouldn't be a balloon. Dude, you're on another level of insanity. Like, there's there's crazy, and then there's this guy. This guy this guy tops the charts, dude. You are not telling me he did not make that up. There is no way that there are other people like him in the world. I refuse to believe it. But there's two groups of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloon, and you got your non-poppers. I'm a non-popper. Of course this guy's a non-popper, dude. He wants to savor every second of the balloon's defeat. Like, jeez, dude. Julius's addiction to balloons started when he was hospitalized at just four years so old. So he's actually, like, disabled? Now I feel, like, really bad for making fun of him. My mother come to visit one time, and she gave me a, a real nice blue Bro, balloon. I can't believe you remember that. I was the long blue balloon. That was insane. I remember that. But that night, the nurse grabbed it, and I heard the balloon pop. So, after she left, I just cried myself to sleep. That balloon popping was so traumatic, he cried himself to sleep. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius. I didn't ask. He even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. I'll go to car dealerships and uh, do what I call a balloon rescue. When they set them out early in the morning, they're really beautiful. And as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull, uh, misshapen. I feel, you know, like I give them a second chance at Balloons life. aren't getting a second chance at life, dude. That's just theft. You're just stealing balloons. This is kidnapping, dude. This isn't okay. I want to put this man away for life. He's kidnapping innocent balloons. But Julius doesn't share his extreme love for balloons with yeah, many people. Yeah, I wouldn't share it with people either, dude. The only people that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange. This man has a wife. He's in a polyamorous relationship with his wife and balloons. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret uh, definitely points to that there is a, a, a Really? Problem. You don't say. It's a little bit of a problem. Jeez. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, not hurting anybody. Let's be honest here. You know who you're hurting. You're hurting those balloons. And you're hurting your wife, dude. You're, you're cheating on her with balloons. I heard that there was a, some physical attachment to these balloons, maybe sexually. There's sexual overtones to it. Sexual undertones. Sexual undertones. That's a word that you could use to describe it. Do you think you'll ever give it up? Nope. Dang, he was affirmative with that. He knew that question was coming. He answered it perfectly. However, that wasn't really the answer we wanted. Okay. All right. I like how this guy just says, okay, all right. He accepts defeat to balloon man. Absolute unit. But anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like the video, like the video. And you know what? If, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a deal. If you like the video, I will send you one V-Buck. See ya, boys.